a while back uh, during a time when I was teaching one of the tech courses, uh, I was, was very unsatisfied with the perspective that was given on uh, uh, the ionosphere. And uh, you know, the usual image, you get these great big bounces and bounces and bounces, makes it look like uh, when you, when you uh, skip a signal off the ionosphere, it, it goes from maybe as far as Pepperell to Oxford or something like that. And, it, and it's all in the perspective. So many things in life are perspective. Uh, so the graphics don't, you know, the graphics we usually see don't, don't show the scale in a way that makes a good educational point for those of us who are, you know, interested in getting a signal to the, the other side of the world. So I, I went on a de-expedition one time. Actually, I've, I've visited this place more than a half a dozen times. Uh, old the Lorm Mapping Company up in Yarmouth, Maine, since been bought out, oh good, five, 10 years ago by a garment. Uh, so you can't go up there and buy maps at their map store anymore. But they installed a globe, the world's largest rotating globe in their atrium. at the three-story uh, glass atrium in the front there. Uh, and, and you can still go in and the restroom is still open. So if you're going up uh, route, uh, is it 295 up there? Uh, and you need to make a pit stop. It's a very worthwhile pit stop. But Earth is 41 and a half feet across, and it rotates. And you can sit there and say, oh, I see this, oh, I see that. And you can walk up on the next floor and say, oh, I can see this, all the way up to the, the third floor and look down on the globe. Uh, but it, it's a good way of getting a perspective of how big the Earth is and, uh, and, uh, and how small we are, for that matter. So... Uh, you know, the real diameter of the Earth is almost 13,000 kilometers. And in, in U.S. units, that's 7,000 miles. Uh, Earth is about 12 and a half meters across. So it's, a, it's almost a one-to-one, -one, a one-to-a-million scale looking at Earth -a compared to looking at the Earth. Uh, so here we go. You want to do a little ionospheric work. The D layer goes from 60 to 90 kilometers in height. Uh, so on Eartha, that's really only six to nine centimeters off the surface of this great big 41-foot globe. Uh, that's, that's the D layer. For, for all of the layers, here you go, five to, you know, six to nine centimeters for the D layer, nine to 15 centimeters for the E layer, uh, the F layer, uh, F1 and F2. But we're, we're talking surprisingly small numbers. And uh, so here's, uh, uh, here's, here's really what those pictures that we, uh, that we uh, rely on in our technician classes, general classes, this is what they ought to look like. Uh, and a half meters out for the earth and, and less than a meter out for the, uh, the F region, the top of the ionospheric regions. Instead of, you know, it's it's only twelve percent of the Earth's radius, not the not the seventy three or eighty nine percent that shows up in all of the, the So, so this is the this is the, this is the real takeaway here. Here's I don't know who these people were, and I didn't get their permission to take a picture or anything like that. But Susie here, we're standing on Earth. Her head and shoulders would be sticking above the top of the F region. Or in, in speaking in perspectives and bringing things up to date, if uh, if uh, WU3C were standing on Earth, uh, her the the F region would probably come up to her belly button. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry to was that uh, Jessica, but anyway, uh, we get we can make a lot more sense when we when we change the perspective. Uh, of, of how, how these signals bounce off the ionosphere layers. So incidentally, if you go up to the third floor you, and Earth is rotating, uh, you find out that there really is no North Pole. Uh, there's actually a hole up there. Uh, and uh, and uh, that's sort of the end of the picture. So Earth is up on, uh, on Route 295 up in Yarmouth. Uh, next time you're on your way up to uh, 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 come on, Skip. 
LL Bean. L that's it. L that's, and uh, when you're on your way to LL Bean, you can stop in and uh, make a pit stop there. Not have to put the dime in the uh, in the machine at whatever uh, other stop at. And uh, it's uh, it's worthwhile, especially for people that. Uh, to think in terms of radios and globes and DX and stuff like that. Uh, very impressive thing. As I said, I've been there about six times. It is fascinating after you've gotten used to the size of the globe to stand over on the, on the opposite wall from where the entry door is and watch people walk in and go, whoa, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I got.